In this video, we're asking people in Tulum who we think make a lot of money or who might be millionaires what they do for a living. So let's get into it. All right, we got what's your name? Z. Z? Nice to meet you. Johnny, nice to meet you, man. Looking mad swole. We're gonna have to get your routine after. Let's go, the flex. So what are you doing out in Tulum, man? Uh, I'm actually here celebrating my cousin's birthday. Right there, it's her 30th Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> so she decided on Tulum, and I'm here for the ride. Okay. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Yeah. What, do you guys got anything fun planned? Yeah, absolutely. I think we're gonna rent some scooters, we're gonna go to the beach, nice. and then we might go to Taboo, or we might go to, uh, what's that other club, Bagatel? Okay. You know, have some yeah, fun, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Taboo's fun, we were just there like last weekend, but uh, what, what do you do for a living? Uh, I do sales, it's pretty boring. Sales? Well, it pays the bills, you know? We all do sales here too, man, it's yeah, all yeah. good, yeah. Cool, man, well, thanks for doing this. Uh, Give us one tip to get as swole as you for the for the people in the comments looking Yo, to get big. Stay consistent. That's it. Stay consistent. Stay consistent. You heard it. All right, man. Where can people follow you? Uh, Z Trapamoto on IG. Trapamoto. All right, you're gonna have to tell us how to spell that, but S Z I Trapamoto on Got IG. It. Yeah. Got it. For sure, man. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. <laughs> now, what what did you used to do? Real estate. Real estate. Okay. Yeah. And then, are you living out here permanently now, or are you like on vacation? I, I live right around the corner here. Am I? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's awesome, man. And yeah. what, what's like a day to day for you out here? Just, um, I'm, we're trying to start back up something in real estate here. Okay. So, um, I might get back into the game. So, we're just trying to learn all the properties around here. Yeah, there's like so much under development, right? Yeah. And, okay. Well, right. Do you think this is going to be like a market that you would stay in for a while? Like uh, 10 years at least. 10 years at least? Yeah. Okay. How long yeah, how long have you been in real estate? Uh, 92. Since 92. Uh, Any advice for people that want to get into real estate? Uh, I would suggest getting a license and then, um, where, where are y'all from? California. Okay, so you guys are whereabouts? Orange County. Okay. Orange County. Um, I'm from Las Vegas. Okay. Nice. Close um, by. Yeah, if you, you get a license and, le and learn the area and become and, a realtor first. Yeah, you want to get the license first before you get into it and just learn the area and and especially people from like California. Yeah. You know, if, if you're from Orange County, and I know you guys are way too young, but if you remember <laughs> San Diego to Ocean City, I mean Oceanside. Okay. In the 80s and 90s, right? There was nothing, there wasn't a lot in between. Mm -hmm. Now imagine Cancun to here. Yeah. So if you could have bought all that land in Oceanside there in the 1990s, would you be doing okay right now? The coast of, or the, I'm sorry, on the coast side of the five. Right. So that's that's what's happening here. Like Cancun was, like, it's a big spot, and now Tulum is starting to be that, right? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. All right, man. Well, thank you. For, what was your name? I'm Mark. Mark. Nice to meet nice you. To I'm Sergio. Nice this is Liam. Nice to meet you. Hey, what's going on, man? How you doing? Hey, hola. Johnny, nice to meet you. Pablo, nice to meet you. Pablo? Pablo, yes. Okay, pa Pavel. 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 Yes. Pavel. Pavel. Well, great to meet you, man. We're just uh, walking around Tulum, asking other entrepreneurs what they do for work and how they made it. So if you don't mind sharing for our yeah, audience, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm Pavel. I'm here in Tulum uh, uh, since January, something like that. Moved six from, months? Yeah, six months, more or less. Moved from Italy, where I had like um, mine with, uh, with um, my partner in business. We had like a... Uh, videographer company mm -hmm. so a video production company yeah and we moved here uh, in tulum because there are a lot of stuff doing in the real estate business so mm -hmm. there are a lot of constru construction around the corner so a lot of um, real estate companies that need uh, somebody that will shoot video from them in order to sell faster and uh, easier the, their home their condos uh, apartments something like that mm -hmm. so even if today today in uh, tulum it's like in uh, we're in june it's yep. uh, the low season, but it's just for a touristic one, the low season. For business, it's almost the same as the whole year. So, yes, the um, videography stuff, videography doing cool. video. Yeah, so you had the videography company in Italy. You came here, basically started from scratch then. Yep. And how many clients do you have now that you work with? I mean, I have like uh, three clients uh, uh, based on the monthly service mm -hmm. and um, like random clients uh, every Every month, every month, like two to three random clients just for project. So probably like five or six any given yes, time? Yes, more or less, yes. Okay. It's doing very good. That's cool. And do you have a goal with the company? Do you want to make like a million bucks with it or what's the yeah, plan? Yeah, I mean, the goal is that to automate this, uh, everything, you mm -hmm. know, to delegate. Uh, I just want to be above the company and coordinating the stuff. 
Yeah. So helping other people that come here to like live the Tulum dream, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like us. The, yeah, giving <laughs> them like a, an opportunity mm -hmm. to work here in the videography um, business. Yeah. So if the, if you wanna just aim, welcome. All right. So if anybody needs videography services, where can they reach you? Yeah, with my Instagram, Pavel underscore Butuk. Just contact me in DM for a personal one. It should be very nice. Cool. Well, there you go. Thanks for doing it, man. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Cool. All right, so we just met this real estate mogul right here. What was your name, man? Lev. L -E -V. Lev. Nice Johnny, nice pleasure. to meet you. So, uh, yeah, what do you do for work? Um, well, I run a brokerage called Elements Real Estate Group, and we service Paradise. So we sell properties in Tulum, Playa del Carmen, and Cancun. Nice. How did you get into something like that? How did you find even this market? Uh, ten years ago, moved down here, started figuring out what I wanted to do, saw real estate, loved it, love uh, helping people buy investment properties down here, especially North Americans and Canadians. It's a bit challenging for them because of the language barrier, mm -hmm. but being here for over ten years, it's been, uh, been a pretty good success rate so far. Ten years, wow, you must be like fluent in Spanish, right? Spanish, English, French, Russian, and Ukrainian, so... That's crazy. about it. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. So why why should people uh, you know buy investment properties in Tulum? Um, the market is absolutely incredible. The price points are very low, and the ROI is more than you can make anywhere back in North America. When I say ROI, that's return on investment, and you're looking anywhere between ten to twenty percent net per year on your purchase. This is a hot spot. It's the next Bali infused with Ibiza and a little bit of Miami, and people love it. So that's why yeah I had one of our buddies actually tell us that it's like a mixture of Vegas and LA combined but in Mexico and I was like oh, it seems pretty accurate being here for a week but cool so if anyone wants to reach out to you and, and maybe in, invest here in Tulum buy some real estate where can they find you uh, the elements group real estate um, we have social media so if you just search for us online pretty easy to find so cool yeah yeah, yeah what's your name man? Daniel Daniel? Daniel. Johnny, nice I'm to meet you. Nice to meet yeah. you. Nice meeting you guys. Nice meeting you. So, so okay, what do you guys do here? Do you sell real estate? You, you develop? Yes. What is it? We develop and we sell real estate. Yeah, okay. we work here. We have been here actually tomorrow is our fifth anniversary. Okay. Congratulations. Happy uh, birthday. Yeah, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, right now Tulum is the booming market. So it's, uh, it's yeah. been very, very good, very good business for us. Yeah, we were just talking with someone. He was telling us Tulum was really good. All that road needs to be developed there. So have you been doing this for five years, since the whole time this place started? No, I have worked here for a year and a half, okay. for a year and a half. But it's been good. It's been very good. Cool, cool. Yeah. How many guys' homes do you sell on average like per year here in Tulum or build? Because you guys do like what, 50-50 development and selling? Yeah, some of, our pro of the projects we are selling is ours or partnership with other developers. <laughs> Uh, and others, we are just commercializing it from other developers. Okay, uh, cool. Mexican, most of them, and um, yeah, it's so now we are starting to develop as well. So yeah, it's good. So if I'm if I'm an American and I want to buy real estate in Tulum, mm -hmm. how would I go about doing that? Or like, what's like an average uh, investment? I mean, for, for for foreigners, there's a process you must do. Is okay. it can be two ways. One, through a bank trust, that is the most common. Everyone just take the bank trust. You, are the, you have the rights of that bank trust. Or through an LLC. There's a company that owns the property. Because mm. in Mexico, the law says that you cannot own, as foreigner, uh, land or property uh, 30 kilometers to, from the coast or from the borders. Mm. So. Okay. That's a, a weird law from the Mexican Revolution. So right. all foreigners must buy through a bank trust or to a company. Okay. Then, then you can choose every, everything. I mean, there's a lot of options for buyers in Tulum. Yeah. There's all condos, villas, land, anything you you want. Right now we are in the best developed area, Aldea Sama. Okay. There is the best infrastructure in town regarding the streets and all the services. There's other areas in town growing as well, Region 15 that is closer to the beach or Veleta, other areas in town. But this is the best infrastructure in town right now. Cool. Yeah. And so if an American wanted to come buy property from, from Daniel himself, yeah. where can they find you and what's the name of the company you work for? Uh, the company's name is Max Properties. Uh, and you can find me as Daniel Tapia Realtor on Instagram. 
Awesome. Hey man, so we're just asking people in Tulum what they do for a living. So like what do you do for work and you know where do you live? So you wanna just go into that? Yeah, so I'm working in the freelance. I have a 19 freelance and right now I'm working remotely for uh, Europe because I'm uh, from Europe, I'm French. Oh, okay. And I used to be working in Winnerman's place uh, as a reception. It was nice because I could work uh, in reception and side doing my uh, freelance stuff. Mm -hmm. And I'm here living in Tulum with my girlfriend, which have also a job here. Okay. And it's working quite nice like this. <laughs> okay, and then I know you mentioned you were like going back to Europe, right? Yeah, actually, I'm uh, going back in Europe uh, this Monday. <laughs> I'm wow. quite happy to see a bit my family, my friends, okay. a bit of European culture because I've been a lot of time outside of my country. Okay. And um, yeah, I like to move some places. Uh, I think we are not really stable couple. We are like kind of moving place to place. We were one year in Buenos Aires. Before that, I was uh, traveling in bicycle uh, for one year and okay. a little bit in France sometimes. Uh, no, in Mexico, in Tulum. So I don't know where will be the next destination. So if if someone wanted to do the nomad thing and like live remotely, um, do you have any advice for that person? Uh, so if you can have like a, a company that hire you and you can be free for working remotely, that's nice and quite stable because you don't you're not dependent of uh, having finding clients when you're freelance. Mm. And if you're freelance and you manage quite well your uh, time and your clients and have some uh, uh, clients, uh, uh, I'll say that like for long terms, uh, that's quite nice because you can schedule your. Uh, your salary on a long time so that's better yeah for sure all right man well thank you so much what was your name adrian adrian all right thank you adrian thanks all right Thank you so much for watching guys. If you so much for watching guys, if you enjoyed this, then you'll definitely like these videos here. Check them out. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, drop a like, comment what you want to see next. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.